Greetings, everyone. This is another episode of Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition Walkthrough. I'm your host, Red Hunter, and we are about to enter the gauntlet. See, it's not enough that we fought our way through the caverns and fought all these drakes and all this other stuff, um, and fought our way through the legions of cultists. There is a yet another series of obstacles to overcome. And it is called the Gauntlet, and we are going to take that on in this video, this episode. Yes, I am the guardian of the ashes. I have waited years for this. For someone to take the ashes? No one can take the ashes. They belong here. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful. Come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here. And shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea? That sounds lonely. The Imperium is no longer powerful as it once was. Ah, is it not? Then perhaps this is the beginning of the end. Kovarm and his followers do not regard you very highly. Colgrim knows not of what he speaks. His heart is laced with poison, and he has led many astray. What can you do? What do you know about these disciples of Andraste? My brethren and I carried Andraste from Tevinter to this sanctuary. We vowed to forever revere her memory and guard her. I have watched generations of my brethren take up the mantle of their fathers. For centuries they did this, unwavering, joyful in their appointed task. But now they have lost their way. They have forgotten Andraste and their promise. Good news, I killed them all. So the dragon is not Andraste. No. Our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. What can you tell me about the urn? You already know that the urn contains the remains of the Prophet Andraste. Hmm. This mountain has veins of lyrium running all through it. Uh, can't mistake that tingle. It's so strong I can just about smell it. <laughs> Makes you wonder what's magical here. The urn or the mountain? What exactly is keeping you alive, Guardian? It is not my place to question. Um, I'd like to see the urn. You have come to honor Andraste. And you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. I need the ashes to cure a noble man. Still, you must prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... Alright, what is the gauntlet? The gauntlet tells the true pilgrims from the false 
You will undergo four tests of faith, and we shall see how your soul fares. You'll understand what it is when you face it. Very well, I went to the gauntlet. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You betrayed Jowan to Irving. He was almost killed, and he lost the one thing that mattered. Lily, Jowan trusted you. Tell me, do you think you failed, Jowan? No, he brought it on himself by dabbling in blood magic. Then you do not dwell on past mistakes, neither yours nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open old wounds? I don't really know about these guardian types, but I think the correct answer was yes. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you? When all know that the Maker has left, he spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orle, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt, but you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. Ah, the Dwarf. You left your home and came to the surface, knowing that... Why don't I save you some time? Yes, I wish I could have saved my family from Bronca. I wish I'd been a better mate. Maybe she'd have stayed home with a belly full of baby Ogren and never gone for the anvil. Maybe I failed her. And yes, I came to the surface because I'm barely a dwarf anymore. My family is dead. My honor as a warrior long gone. I've lost my caste and my house, and I have nothing else to lose. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Um... I... Give me one moment, please. I want to point out that that cutscene will be different um, if you bring different companions. He questions them all in unique ways. 
Alright. Let's save. We gotta go answer these. We have to answer riddles. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? What does he speak? He speaks of... He speaks of home. It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. She was betrayed, and so were we. All right, level up. Um, do you want to be a shapeshifter? No, possibly an arcane warrior. Hostile targets in areas boil within their veins, inflicting severe damage. Targets start stand twitching, unable to move unless they pa pass a physical resistance check. Creatures without blood are immune. That's pretty cool. Um. Wow. Uh. I would never use that. The blood of all hostile targets and the area boils within the veins of lightning damage, sphere damage. Alright. Blood magic. Okay. Blood magic suffers health. Okay. Blood control. Combat magic, channel magic, inner trading, increase fatigue for an attack bonus, and ability to use spell power to determine combat damage, or my fair share, uh, regardless of, may use this as set of Constitution plus two spell power plus one constitution plus one armor. I'm not really interested in shape shifting. We're gonna pick up blood magic. Oops. Okay. But for now, we're gonna pick up earthquake. And we're gonna play. 
save. Yeah. I went with blood magic and in fact it reminds me now I can uh, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna use the life drinker. Or, uh, Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought's strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? You speak of dreams, of course. A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. Okay. Alisa. The smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? A tune. Yes. I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life, and all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the Maker himself was moved by Andraste's song, and then she sang no more of simple things. Alright. Lady what? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Vengeance. Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Uh, I'm say the mountains. Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tevinter into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. The disciple. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword. Comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest arms. Of what do I speak? Hunger. Yes. Hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Teventer Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done, and knew the Maker smiled on us. She wields the broken sword and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Mercy. Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. And finally the general. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Jealousy. Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. 
I was the greatest general of the Alamon. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? Hey, cool stuff. Um. Here we go. Andraste's arrows. Uh, save the game before the next part. Oh, we're not done. That was only the first trial. Wait, 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 I think... I'll get on it. I think I made a mistake. By exiting the gauntlet. Did I miss a turn? I might have missed a turn somewhere. Finally, someone speaks plainly. You do speak plainly. Riddles speak to your soul and your gut more often than to your mind. Or well, they always seem to for me. You have come so far since I saw you last. The last vestiges of your shackled life in the circle have all but fallen away. You are free of the past and nothing will hold you back. 
Be strong, my friend. Do not falter. I have something for you. Use it well. It makes me happy knowing you will be the mage that I never could. So you need to reminisce um, because you get reflection. you do. Um, and I went the wrong way before I apologize for that. Onward to the second trial. Uh, we need to save here. Because then, and it's already saving for me, the next part is that you fight yourself. You, you can see that you guys, you fight invisible versions of you, yourself. Ow. Did we get stunned before we could even... I need to take out my... I need to take out my opposite number. She's the most strong person. This fight against yourself can be tough if you don't... Uh, ...use tactics. Like I did, I struck out a distance. Um, yeah, they can. You can. You, they can use any spells or talents that we have. They'll all be the same level as the warden. Um, Yeah. It can be a tough fight, but you gotta think tactically. <laughs> One thing you can do is you can go through it alone and only face yourself. Um, Uh, what fun is that? Make sure there's no... Alright, next task. Uh-oh, I'm terrible at puzzles. Okay. Let's save here. This puzzle's pretty straightforward. Watch what I do and do what I do. Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? As the normal people tend to avoid strange looking sections of floor thingies, as you say, they tend to be traps. You uh, don't really think they're right. traps, do you? So, one thing you need to do is, um, you need to set your party, we need to set our party stance to the hold position so that only the character selected moves. Alright. Let's, uh, let's... He has a specialization. He's gonna pick up the champion specialization or berserker. Probably champion, I think. 
Um, yeah. He's going to pick up Warcry. Because, uh, as you can see, I've already got all the weapons and shield stuff. Anyway. We're going to save again now, sorry. I like to save after I do uh, battle. After I level up somebody. He's going to go to right 4. There's six positions. Um, she needs to go to three. And no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. He's he needs to go to right two. We have to take them one at a time to get across. Got a niche. He's got to go all the way to the end. So right six. Now you switch back to your main character in this point. Um, to the end of the second uh, session section. Okay. Liliana needs to go to right four, as she is on left three. One, two, three, four. The party member on right two, which is Alistair, needs to go to left one. And the party member on Okay. Now you move your warning to the end of this section. Now uh he needs to go to right five. Puzzle takes freaking forever to figure out if you don't um, know what you're doing. Back to the warning. Now you gotta unhold, and they will join you. You can see everything is solid, and voila, the puzzle is solved. Alright, next part. This is the final trial. Save. Uh -huh. This altar is a little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved in his face. Cast off the trappings of the worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and slave, lord and beggar, be born anew in the maker's sight. Let's remove the equipment. I don't know. 
Right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Wonder about the equipment. Now she can walk through the altar. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste. And like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. Great. Everyone's got all the equipment. Nobody's lost anything. Excellent. Uh, what's... No, I... I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I, I, I have no words to express. Ah, don't get your knickers in a twist, sweet cheeks. I don't know how mystical this urn really is. The lyrium veins in these walls are richer and purer than any I've sensed in a while. It's, uh, it's doing things, changing this temple and everything in it. I think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here, here she is. That's it? <laughs> Thought it would be bigger. Okay, so before you do this, if you want to pick up both the achievements, um, at once you need to save, once you step through the flames, um, take a picture of the ashes. Because if you have the, um, you can defile though. If you have the blood, you can choose to defile it or not. Leave your own alone. Alright, quest updated. I need to go back to Rycliffe. Let's make that active. Save the game. And we've succeeded in our quest. We've reached, we've completed the trials. We have the ashes and we'll pick things up next episode. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.